Hi, I'm John with Fluid Eye Fluid Power, and we've been getting a lot of questions on how to change rotation on a basic V10 or V20 pump. Uh, right here I have a standard V20, and the current rotation on this is left hand, and that's viewed from the shaft end. So we're going to change this over to right hand, and while I have this apart, I'll show you an easy way on how to find out what the rotation of your pump is if it doesn't have an arrow scribed into it or cast into it. So I've already got three of the bolts out. We'll just take out the remaining bolt and get the cover off, and then we'll start changing the rotation. Uh, while I'm taking this bolt out, underneath here there is a spring that pushes down on the pressure plate and against the cover to hold the plate against this can ring. It's not a very high tension spring, but it is enough uh, just to push down on it, so you don't have to worry about getting hurt or damaging anything. So we'll take the cover off. Alright, so once we have the cover off, we can take the spring and we'll just set that aside. And then we have the pressure plate and the O-ring here. So the O-ring, uh, you take that off and set that inside the cover so you know where it is, don't get lost, but go ahead and inspect it to make sure it's not damaged or cut or, or flat uh, from already being used and just set it aside for now. Pressure plate just slides right off. It just sets on a couple of locator pins, so we can go ahead and take that off. And uh, if you take a look at it, it really doesn't matter how it goes back on because it's pretty much the same on either side. So when you put it back on, you don't need to mark it when you pull it off. So we'll just set that aside. Uh, again, now this is a left-handed unit, and here's the cast arrow in it. So if your pump does not have that, there are some holes on the top here, which I will show you when I get this hammering off. And while you're taking that off, if some other parts come with it, that's okay. We'll just slide those back in. The pins are a slip fit, so they can come out and reinstall with no problem. But here, the holes, you're going from largest to smallest, and that's going to follow your rotation. So as it sets, it's left-handed, viewing it from shaft end, largest to smallest. So once we have the cameraing off, if you have some veins that fall out or <clears throat> drop out of the rotor while you have that out, they can easily be reinstalled because they are rounded on one side and flat on the other. Uh, the flat edge goes towards the inside of the pump or towards the shaft, and the rounded edge is going to ride along this camera here. So if they fall out, really don't, no worry, no panic. Uh, so once we flip this over, that's all you need to do to change the rotation. So now the arrow's at the bottom, moving from the shaft in. It's spinning right-handed, so we'll just slide that back on the pump. Put the pressure plate back on. And just slide it back on either way. And the spring goes on. And then the O ring, uh, once you put it back inside here, you might want to just add a little grease. Just kind of hold it in place while you reinstall the cover back on the pump and it doesn't fall out or come loose and get pinched. Um, also, right now, if you want to change porting position from the way you originally had it, you could do that before you reinstall it back on there. So let's reinstall this back on. And we'll push it down by hand to make sure everything seats properly. Once we're sure everything is seated properly and the O-rings aren't pinched, go ahead and reinstall one of the bolts and just tighten it down, kind of finger tight. There we go. And there we go, double check it to make sure everything is seated together properly. Then you can go ahead and reinstall the other bolts and torque them down 75 to 80 foot pounds. That's how you change rotation and porting on a, a V20 or a V10. And it's very simple. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any other questions, you can go to our website at Fluid Power and chat with somebody live.